Hi, I'm Dr. Anna Saylor with Vannery Family Chiropractic Center, and I want to talk to you today about the coronavirus. It's kind of the top thing that everybody's talking about it. Um, you're hearing it on every news um, channel, you're hearing, you're seeing it across Facebook, um, and I want to kind of give you some quick tips on you, um, what you can do to prevent it, and just kind of calm your nervous system down a little bit. So um, once again, I'm Dr. Anna Saylor with Van Every Family Chiropractic Center. So let's talk about the coronavirus. Um, there is so much fear and hysteria right now about it, and there is just, there's no, you know, trying to find like actual facts. Like even for me searching to find out like a fact that I can give you. I know one of them yesterday was like, you know, there's six deaths in America right now. And this was yesterday. And I'm like, I was like, okay, six deaths in America, like across the America it doesn't seem like a whole lot, but coronavirus is a virus. It's a flu. It's a mild flu. Um, but what sells news is fear and hysteria. So let's talk about things you can do to help you now. First of all, stop living in fear. Um, you know, they're, they're talking about these masks that you're seeing people wear, and they're saying that it doesn't even help. Um, you know, a picture of someone wearing a mask or walking around wearing a mask is definitely a fear reaction. Um, so let's talk about what you can do to boost your immune system your immune system and your children's immune system. There's a number of things you can do right now to help prevent getting the flu or the coronavirus, okay? So think about the things that you can do to boost your immune system. Number one thing for us is a chiropractic adjustment. So if you are a patient of ours, get in, get adjusted. If you have a chiropractor, call them now and get an adjustment. A chiropractic adjustment is gonna boost your immune system by 200% and the effects are longer lasting. So get that extra adjustment in, make sure that you're getting your nervous system functioning really well. It's gonna make a huge difference. So if this fear is going on for a couple weeks, schedule a weekly adjustment, number one thing. The other things you can do. So all the things that you already know, stay hydrated. So drinking the water that you need will help your body flush any toxins. Get enough sleep. So a good amount of sleep, seven to eight hours of sleep, get the rest that you need. So rest is gonna boost your immune system. Eat the right foods. So um, food-wise, you wanna eat fresh foods. You know, I, when your body is already in a stress response and then you add sugar to it and you add carbs to it, it's gonna keep you in that inflammation, that stress response. You, your body can't fight things off. You know, I'm at a Girl Scout cookie season right now here and I've made a couple of Girl Scout cookies. So I'm also trying to combat that with extra water and maybe, you know, some extra vitamins because um, I love Thin Mints and I'll admit that one. Okay, so, but avoiding sugars where you can will help washing your hands and i know I, my favorite memes are like don't just wash your hands when the coronavirus is here wash them all the time so you know uh, most people don't actually wash their hands correctly it sounds so weird um but i still remember in high school we did a study where we actually washed our hands normal and then we put our hands on bread and we could see the mold because we don't tend to wash in between our fingers so you want to make sure that when you're washing your hands you're actually scrubbing your hands Okay, so we also talked about there's some things, products that you can do. Um, elderberry syrup is the number one thing we talk about, um, making sure that you're getting your multi, a good multivitamin, making sure you're boosting right now. So vitamin C, zinc, um, echinacea is an amazing little booster. It's not something that you want to stay on all the time. It's not something that you want to always take. But right now, if there's some fear going on, I would say definitely boost for 10 to 15 days of echinacea. Um, and you can do... I like liquid echinacea. My um, kids like it in, I put it in a little bit of water, or a little bit of juice, and that's their morning drink. Um, so echinacea is a really nice booster of your immune system. So those kind of things, like looking at what you already have and just making sure that you're really conscious about the vitamins you're taking right now. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, exercise. Yeah, get outside. It's beautiful today in Michigan. Um, getting out, getting some fresh air, the problem right now is there Michigan's not cold enough to kill everything off. So things are living a little bit longer. Um, our 
But if you get outside, move, exercise, and it doesn't have to be very long. It, basically, walk your dog for 15 minutes. Come over and walk my dog for 15 minutes. He needs it. Um, but doing something to move your body. And this goes for your kids, too. So all the stuff that we just talked about was amazing for your kids, too. So think about what you can do to boost their immune system. So you want to boost yours and theirs. Avoid this fear. So, you know, there's certain things, the news, you know, they are, their goal is for you to watch them. And, you know, it's just like when we hear like, oh, there's a big snowstorm coming here. And that's the only time I actually watch a little bit of the news because I'm like, oh, is it going to snow? Is it not going to snow? And Michigan, you know, zero to 72 inches anytime between now and next week, you know, it's, they want to sell the news. So fear. And then what happens is if you are afraid of something, your body goes into what we call fight flight. Your body goes into a sympathetic dominant state. And then what happens, it's a cycle. So if you're already in fight flight, you can't be in rest and digest. So let me break that down. You can't be in fight flight and rest and digest at the same time. And why is rest and digest important? Rest and digest is when your immune system is functioning. It's when you're sleeping good. It's when your whole body is in a calm state. Fight flight is when your body is already like this and then you add more onto it. So we wanna get you out of that fight flight state into that rest and digest state. And people are like, well, how do you do that? Chiropractic adjustment, number one thing to get you out of that fight flight state. So like I said, if you're a patient of ours, call now, get an adjustment, get a boost adjustment, just to kind of help 200% boost your immune system. So I hope those tips helped. You know, I, I don't let many things afraid, make, make me afraid because I know my nervous system is functioning as well as possible. I know my stress is low. I know that I'm taking care of really good care of my body and the really good care of my kids and their nervous system. So today is an adjustment for everybody when I get home. So um, if you're watching, if you have any questions, please ask. Um, I'm going to post in the link a really good article about some of the fears kind of overlying, you know, a lot more about the coronavirus. So I'll post that link and it was a great read. So if you have any questions, please reach out to us. If um, your patients of ours call us, get adjusted. I hope everybody has a great day. I'll see you later. Bye.